What's up guys? So we are head to the machine shop finally for the 260Z. We are taking the parts to the machine shop with all going on in the world today. We just haven't had the chance. So we're gonna get the block decked. Also check the cylinders, making sure what size we need. We're gonna get the oil galley on the front and back drilled and plugged. And then we're bringing along the pistons and the connecting rods. And then as well, we've got the head. We're gonna do a complete head job and clean everything. Have them give a good clean. So we're headed off to the machine shop. All right, so we're headed to the machine shop now. It's been a few months. They've got everything done for us. So we're gonna go pick up those parts, bring them back to the house, and then we'll go through everything that they've done to make it right for the 260Z. All right, so we're back from the machine shop and we have all of our parts laid out. And what I wanna do is go over what they did for us and the things we're going to do to get them ready to build that engine. So let's take a look first at the block. First, what we did is of course, we had them clean up the block. As you remember, it was very rusty and there's still some residual from that. They've cleaned it, pressure tested it, and they magnafluxed the block as well to make sure there was no cracks and that we were good to proceed on this rebuild. Now, if you remember, we had some severe pitting in some of the cylinders, specifically number one and number three. And what we decided to do is go ahead and sleeve them. So they have been sleeved. And then we had the deck shaved to make it flat. Oh, well, we had them tap the oil galleys on both front and back and put in a plug. So we're gonna have to uh, put those in, seal them up and shave this one down, especially to be flat. So we had them fit our new pistons and these are standard size 83 millimeters and we had them clean the connecting rods and also double check the big end of the connecting rod and making sure those were nice and clean. We had them also clean the oil pan. Now, as far as the head, we had them bench test it and check the airflow and everything checked out really well. So no valve jaw was needed for it. Uh, the one thing we did take care of and have them do is to deck the head, making sure that that was nice and flat and just a real simple clean. They also went and shimmed the towers, making sure that they were to spec. Now, as far as what we wanna go ahead and do from here is, is we're gonna take these studs out. We're gonna do some more cleaning to the head. We need to send off the lobes to get resurfaced and we're gonna be using Delta Cam up in Tacoma, Washington for that. We are also going to send in our cam to get their regrind. Uh, this one actually was found to have a crack. See if I can get that in the light. There's a crack at the top right here. So we need to replace it anyway, so we'll send that to them. As far as the oil pan, we're gonna wanna paint that, of course, and make sure the mounting surface is flat. As far as the block, of course we wanna paint it. We need to put in the freeze plugs. But the big thing we need to do here is we're gonna pull off those oil galley plugs. We're gonna go through and use essentially a brass bottle brush and clean out all of the orifices. And then as well, just chase the threads on the block. We're also gonna chase the threads on the head. But we're also going to remove the casting flash from inside. So let me flip up the block and then I will show you that. All right, so what is casting flash? So these are cast iron blocks and when they are being made, they are sandwiched between layers of sand and the mold. So what happens is the iron tends to ooze out slightly. So there are chunks like this one that are sitting in here. Now, those might not fall off. Those might fall off. So what we wanna do is go through all of the walls and just kind of grind them down slightly and just remove all this roughness because what that also does is it also allows the oil to slough off 
and not stick to the walls of the block. So that's going to be an easy little modification that we can do to the block. So that's just a quick one for you guys to see what we had done to the engine pieces and what we're going to be doing. So make sure you stay tuned for those next episodes where we begin working on the block and the head and then building that engine. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, make sure you share it, and we'll see you guys on the next one.